The strengths and weaknesses of the Filipino character, a socio-cultural issue. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Teacher Pauline, and today I will be enumerating the strengths and weaknesses of the Filipino character. A nation empowers itself depending on the beliefs, goals, ideals, aspirations, and values of its citizens. In order to achieve a national unity and progress, it needs the full cooperation of its people. Values as a people and as a nation give the identity that differentiates one race from the others. These values may improve or hinder development and progress, but nonetheless, with unity of diversity, development and progress are achievable. A Filipino holds strengths that most other nationalities admire, but there are also weaknesses that make him a laughing stock of its foreign neighbors. Strengths of the Filipino character Close kinship. A Filipino considers family as an important social structure that they must love and care. Close family ties results to the family still being intact regardless that the children are old and with families of their own. Respect for elders. The use of po and opo in conversing or addressing older people is a sign of a Filipino's respect for the elders. Filipinos do not send their elders to nursing homes because they still value the word and presence of the elders at home. Hospitality The Filipino community are very warm and hospitable. They even give pasalubong or welcome gifts and pabaon or farewell gifts to guests. At times, they sacrifice their own comfort to accommodate their guests very well. A strong faith in God. Their faith in God keeps them united to overcome all the problems and challenges of life. Flexibility, adaptability, resiliency. The Filipinos have the trade to laugh at themselves and their misfortunes or failures. This is a coping mechanism to balance emotional stress and to boost the capacity to survive. They can smile in midst of problems and hardships. They can still crack jokes despite the stresses of their daily lives and during calamities. They are strong and cheerful people. Ingenuity and Creativity They are good inventors. They often improvise and make productive use of available resources. Patience and Self-Sacrifice a remarkable quality of a Filipino is his capacity to endure difficulties and hardships. Maybe related to the long suffering they endured during the many colonization in Philippine history. They are patient enough to wait for their turn to be blessed with the greener pastures as long as they do what is right and good. Hard Work and Industry Filipinos are globally recognized for their excellent performance in any physical and technical task. May be visible due to the desire for economic security and advancement for oneself and family. Fairness and justice. They always show concern for the well-being of others. They uphold the humanity of all people and regard everyone with respect and empathy. They are keen on interpersonal relationships, the primary source of security and happiness. Fairness and justice to equality, to social justice, to development and progress. Readiness to share and help. They're always ready to lend a hand, not only in times of need, such as calamities or disasters, but also in festive occasions such as fiestas, baptisms, and weddings. The Bayanihan spirit, or giving help without expecting something in return, of a Filipino is widely admired. Witnesses
Tales of the Filipino Character. Bahala na. This is also synonymous to the phrase Kesera Sera. Whatever will be, will be. Or Hakona Matata. No worries. It leaves everything to chance or just let the circumstances take care of themselves, embracing lack over good reason. Ningas Kugon. Kugon is a kind of grass that burns easily when dry but extinguish easily as well. Like the common grass, Filipinos start things with great enthusiasm. But at the first sign of difficulty, the enthusiasm is consumed as fast as it has ignited. Colonial Mentality Filipinos prefer foreign-made products instead of patronizing Philippine-made ones. This result to higher gains for foreign businessmen than local businessmen. Thus, it motivates Filipino businessmen to improve the quality of their products to make it more competitive against foreign ones. Mamayana or bukas na lang habit. A poor habit, a sign of laziness, of living for a later time what can be done at the moment or today, thus resolving to stack workload to be done and then complain about it. Crab mentality, a troublesome trait evident in a Filipino where when one sees the progress of a comrade, the other becomes resentful rather than happy for the achievement. Rather than to praise, he would highlight everything negative about that person in an effort to bring him down or destroy his reputation. They would focus on others' own faults rather their own inadequacies. Patigasan. Most Filipinos find it hard to say I'm sorry or pasensya na. Their precious pride always gets the best of them. Kanya-kanya. A trait which shows self-centeredness and lack of regard for others. There are Filipinos who give priority to what they and their families could have rather than what they can do to share their wealth and serve others better. This trait shows poor signs of patriotism, loyalty to community, and concern for the needs of others. Submission to others or to outside influences. Indebtedness or utang na loob. Filipinos are fond of asking for personal favors from others. It is ingrained for them to acknowledge the person who had helped them in times of need. This is a good act but it forced to repay with something bad to show gratitude then it becomes a problem. Utang na loob must not be paid with unlawful acts. Interpersonal Relationships Pakikisama. Every person wants to belong to a group where they can share ideas, jokes, and feelings, but sometimes it becomes a negative thing when the group is the one that influences the person to do unlawful or foolish things in order to belong or to gain approval. This is usually evident in the Filipino youth where peer pressure challenges someone's morality. Lack of self-confidence, hiya. The Filipinos are shy to boast their achievements because they might be regarded as show-offs. They prefer to just hide those achievements and call the idea being happy. This is actually a sign of lack of self-confidence. Thank you for listening. For more related videos about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,